hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I told you I'd be back on here. Um, I'm not doing the vlogging anymore, but I'm still going to be creating content here on this channel about reselling, selling on eBay, um, making money at the consignment store, making money on YouTube. So um, yeah, I thought I'd do... Oh yeah, and I'm still in the basement. <laughs> I love it down here. No one can get me. My dad can't get down here. The dogs can't get down here. It's like my own little oasis of being in a basement with cinder block walls, whatever. So today, I thought I'd do something kind of different. Um, I thought I would show you what I'm taking to the consignment store, clothing specifically that I just got in a uh, liquidation lot. So I've been doing wholesale liquidation stuff. And um, <clears throat> when you buy liquidation especially, when you're dealing, dealing with it, whether it's returns, overstocks, shelf pulls, whatever the case may be, you're gonna usually buy a big lot and there's gonna be some stuff in there that isn't maybe great for putting online, which is why I'm so thankful uh, that I have a consignment store where I can take things to. Now my consignment store is a chain here in Iowa. It's called Stuff Etc. They very much run like a thrift store and that they take all categories, <coughs> excuse me, clothing, shoes, women's, men's, kids, toys, they have an antiques collectible section, they do jewelry, health and beauty, artwork, furniture. Um, they even sell mattresses there. I mean, they're, all, they're new, they're not used, but they even sell mattresses. So they have a ton of stuff. I'm now a VIP there. <laughs> it's a recent upgrade. Uh, I now get a 50-50 split before it was 60-40, which is a lot, but, um, I mean, for them to keep 60, but it's a very busy store and um, I do pretty well there, um, realizing that it's for what I feel <clears throat> I can't sell on eBay or it's not worth selling on eBay. So sometimes if I can just get my money back on something, I'm happy with it because I don't have another way to liquidate anything. Um, I don't have garage sales. I don't, I do not want to use Facebook marketplace or have people calling me or coming here. No. So if it wasn't for the consignment store, this stuff would be a loss. So I'm really thankful. So in my latest clothing liquidation, the box that I just went through, I think I had like 142 pieces and about 124, 25, uh, I did get listed to eBay. <sighs> Papa's calling me. One moment. I'm back. Papa accidentally turned the TV off and he couldn't figure out how to get it back on. <laughs> so we have resolved that. <clears throat> Excuse me, am I going to cough through this whole video? I need a drink. Pepsi IC homemade. That was rude to slurp. Okay, so um, back to the liquidation. Yeah, the duds, the things I didn't um, feel were worth listing on eBay. I'm just going to take the consignment store. I did want to share a couple things that have sold that I'm super happy about. I just listed this last night. It's a Vince. There's the label top. This sold for $49.99. It's an extra small. The retail was $2.95, <clears throat> but um, I wanted to move it quick, and it is an extra small, so 50 bucks for that. It'll go free shipping. <clears throat> Seriously, am I going to cough through the whole thing? Um, and then this is a Sugoi. This is a triathlon suit. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I don't know, but anyway, I got this in a different lot, actually. Um, that I listed earlier in the week. And this sold for $53.99 with free shipping. So yeah, so those are two good deals. Um, but we have some other ones that I'm not gonna list on eBay. These are going to the consignment store. So I thought I'd just go through and show you what those are and why. Um, so yeah, first one is, this is a JOA. Um, and I don't know, you know, I don't know where all this liquidation came from. So I think some was Amazon, some could be Macy's, Nordstrom's, who knows. Um, but this was, this I'm taking in because it's this kind of summery style. The brand isn't anything um, good and it does not have the original tags. When I'm doing this liquidation stuff, I want it to be brand new with tags so I have the um, barcode and whatnot. This doesn't have that, which makes me worry that it's not like brand new, that it might have been used or returned. So that's going to the consignment store. <clears throat> This one, is, this is frustrating. And this is one where I get so frustrated that I'm like, you know what, you're just going to consignment store. This is a scotch and soda, which in some sites say that this is sold at Anthropology. I'm not sure. First of all, the tags are all jacked up. Um, comes with a necklace. 
The problem with this is it is a size three. And from their website, I th thinking this might be their petite line, but I cannot figure it out. I have spent way too much time on this thing and it's going to the consignment store. I'm over it. This next one, <clears throat> still in the plastic. It's, how do you say that, Chaws, Chaws. It is this thing, which one would think was a dress, but the stock photos have it as a shirt. The, I'm gonna order a liquidation, they give me the photos. So the photos they gave me, and then I went on and I tried to find other examples of this, and they all look like a shirt. Well, I don't know in what world this is a shirt. Um, yeah, so this is too confusing for me. I'm over it. It is new with tag. 59 bucks. I think this must be sold at Macy's, maybe. I don't know. Let's go into the consignment store. I'm sure somebody will love it there. This next item is a brand that I've gotten a few of these now, and it's just a low-end um, item. But again, it's fine for the consignment store. The brand is Clementine. I think it's just like a little boutique -y brand. Just a little top. Nothing special. But again, it does not have the original tags on it. <clears throat> so low-end. No tags, consignment store. This next one, I hate to waste the bags, but the great thing about liquidation is it comes bags. The bad thing is if you have to open it up, you've wasted the bag. So this is a paper tee. This top is butt ugly on the stock photos. <laughs> when I looked it up, I was like, oh my God. I just thought, ooh, who's gonna buy that? The way that it's displayed um, from the company does have the tag but it doesn't have like a price or anything so there's this now my consignment store might consider this fall winter so I might hold on to this one for a bit or just take it to see what they do with it the other thing is all folded now it's all wrinkly so again I don't know what they'll do with it they kind of just want to be able to put things out which is understandable and this one has been folded for a long time <coughs> Then we have, this is, an, this is another, I'm not gonna open it. It's another one of those Clementine teas. This brand is another brand that I just, I maybe I did list a couple of this brand, but this one, it's Jolt. It has the original hang tag, but not an original price. And can we find the tag inside? What the, what the what? I can't even find the tag on the inside for it. So again, probably just like a boutique -y brand. It's not, I don't know. It just, I don't really like it. And I can go to the consignment store. This next one is another, why did I pull this one? I think because I wasn't finding good comps, like if there were comps, it was like $5 and it's just not worth my time. This is NY Collection. <clears throat> Again, just a, what in the world? There's something else in it. <clears throat> oh, it has a shell and the shell came out. Here's the tag. There's this. So I'll have to put that back together, but I think that was just a low dollar thing I wasn't gonna worry about. This one, um, it's a Mac Studio. And the reason I pulled this was because it does not have the original tags. The store tag, the manufacturer tag. And again, I'm trying to list brand new with the barcode, so I'm not gonna put that up. This next one is a low dollar item. It's Allison Brittany. It's like a little juniors thing probably. Not worth on eBay. This is a democracy, which is nice, but the tag is a mess on this one. Like it has water damage. Um, <clears throat> it's a sheer top. It's cute, but because the tag is messed up and like even, I don't know. I mean, I guess it kind of does have like a vintage-y look to it, but this one in particular, I was just kind of like, eh, it can go to the consignment store. I didn't think it was going to be worth enough. This one 
is another low dollar, can't find the tag to it item. What are you? It doesn't have the original tags. Goodness. I don't even know what brand it is. It's a small. <clears throat> and I can't even find, like, the brand on it. So no tags, just a little black something or other. Then this is another low dollar. It's called Star Vixen. It's a small little beaded whatnot on top. They eat this kind of stuff up at the consignment store, so that's fine. This is an alternative. Again, another low dollar brand. Um, organic cotton. <clears throat> I shouldn't say maybe other styles, but this one in particular was just kind of like, eh. I just didn't feel it was worth it. For whatever reason I knew I had a reason when I put it in my pile so I'm sticking to my reasons this one is it's a Mac studio but again it doesn't have the original tags so if I'm selling something brand new with tags I need to have tags um, otherwise I would take my own photos if you're gonna use stock photos eBay um, says you know you can use stock photos if the items are brand new with tags um, so it's fine but if they're not this is a uh, One World, which was sold around here at Yonkers. It's a small, it's a low dollar item, um, but people around here do like that brand, so that'll go to the consignment store. This is a Caribbean Joe. Um, it's a 1X. This fabric feels so cheap that I was worried that if I listed it online and somebody thought they were getting a cute cotton knit top, and then they would get this, they'd be like, oh. I just wasn't happy with how it felt, but also there are no tags on this. So it's another new without tag item, but um, you can go to the consignment store. This one is, what are you? Another, it's one of these that Star Vixen brand. Again, low dollar, no tags with it. Consignment store that. Then this is another low dollar. It's called Spoiled. Again, probably something that's at Macy's or Nordstrom Rack or, you know, Kohl's, Belk, something. Again, no tags, but low dollar anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is a William Rast, which is a nice brand. Uh, I did list a couple other things, but the problem with this is the stock photos look nothing like this, or this looks nothing like the stock photos. Um, and I'm not going to waste my time trying to fix that by taking my own pictures. The whole point of this is that I don't have to do photos. Uh, so this one is going to the consignment store. Then getting down to the bottom here. This is a mink pink. The reason I didn't list this one. It does still have the tags and everything. But it is a super cropped little top. Um, I just didn't think that this was something that was going to do well on eBay. And again, it's kind of like a boutique brand, I think. I mean, it, I'm sure somebody will think that's a super cute and they can go to the consignment store and they can see exactly what it is and how small it is and how it fits and they'll be happier there. This is another Caribbean Joe, uh, that same one that I showed you where the fabric is just kind of like, it reminds me of scrubs you know, the fabric scrubs are made out of. So I just was like, eh, I don't want to disappoint a customer. Let me get the bottom out of here. I have my big laundry bin here that I throw the consignment store stuff in as, a, as I'm going through. <clears throat> this is, this was another, okay, this one was strange. This is uh, Vera Moda. Vero Moda, which apparently is a European brand. On the eBay site, it all sells in Europe, but I don't, maybe one in America here. Um, it's just kind of this lacy, I don't know. It's totally off season, so I'm gonna have to save this for the fall winter. But I just didn't, when I saw the comps, I just didn't see the point of putting this on eBay um, when it could go to the consignment store. 
this top is, goodness gracious, should put eBay duds with lots of plastic unwrapping. This is an XOXO. Again, I think it's probably like a Macy's thing or something. The problem with this is the stock photos, none are in this color. Um, I couldn't find anything that looked like this one. The one they sent me is wrong. I did some more research online. I couldn't find it. So brand new with tag. It's a nice blouse. Again, this is a fall winter piece. So I'll just save that up. Take you to the consignment store. Again, my point with listing liquidation, I need to do it fast. I can't be sitting around spending all this time trying to find one low dollar item or even an item that might be a little bit better, but I've got to move on because I already have six other boxes upstairs I need to get through. This is a Taylor and Sage extra small. Um, assuming this is kind of a little boutique-y thing. It's cute, but again, it's not a brand that seems to be anything online, but it'll do well at the consignment store. And then the last piece from this lot is another pink rose or did I have a pink rose I had a one world pink rose is another one that people like around here oh it's just this little knit jersey knit top is new with the tag but not worth listing on eBay for me personally especially it's just a small but again I can take it to the consignment store and make money on it there or if nothing else make my money back so yeah let me know what you think about this video do you like seeing the liquidation eBay duds that I'm going to take to the consignment store. I thought I'd do some um, other consignment store videos like what I'm making there. Um, yeah, I know some of you have mentioned you would like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, the items that did get listed are in my eBay store. My eBay store is linked below if you want to go and check that out. Um, yeah, so if you like this kind of video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't you love my backdrop? I got those at Target and they currently have baggies and stuff in it for the cosmetics making it work. Um, yeah, leave any questions or comments below. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys uh, in another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.